guy is back in the house? Hey, hey, what's going on? H hang on a second. Oh, you're gonna get it. Oh, Andy, you're so close. Well, shucks. Um, hey, how you doing? It's it's Friday, and we were blowing off some steam here. Um, uh, yeah, okay, so you caught me. Hey, it's Friday, February 16th. It's the last Friday before FRC Bag Day. So we have a few days left. Uh, I got a bunch of things to talk about. To start off, I uh, do want to talk about care and concern we have for the victims of the Valentine's Day shooting down at Parkland, Florida at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas School. I guess specifically, the, my heart goes out to the first team that's there, the, the first team, they're part of our first family, right? They're dealing with, with all, all of this, all these issues with the school, with the shooter, with victims, and it, it's so sad and terrible and tragic. If we can reach out to Team 5196, Breaking Bot, um, I think they're competing at the Orlando Regional. They might need some help. Who knows if they can get to their build build room. Um, if you know of anybody on the team, you might want to lay low for a little bit, but ask them over the next few days, see if they need any help on their team. People in that area might want to work through the first senior mentor, or even maybe the regional director for the Orlando Regional or the South Florida area, and see if there's anything we can do as a community to help them out. Probably the biggest concern for a lot of teams just getting through this weekend and, and getting ready for bag day on Tuesday is the robot is probably overweight. I would I would guess that more often than not, Team's robots are overweight. They're over the 120 pound weight limit for the robot. And if they don't know it already, they might learn that they're over, overweight either by a bag day or even worst case when they get to the event. So I would recommend if you haven't weighed your robot, do that ASAP. Try to throw as much things on there as, as you can to simulate the mechanisms that you're putting on, wiring, um, signage, stickers, whatever. Try to get that thing weighed as soon as you can. The earlier you find out that you're overweight, the better off you're gonna be, the better off you can make decisions on how to lose that weight. And now how you lose that weight is obviously up to you, but my recommendation always is start high. Start at the highest point of your robot. Try to get those farther away, those things that are farther away from the floor, the lightest they can be. Optimize those things first and then work your way down to the drivetrain. Don't start at the drivetrain because a robot that tips over isn't very inspirational. Even if it's underweight, you don't want to have a high CG, a high center of gravity. So keep your weight CG low. Get rid of your weight that's high. Another thing that's, that's a hot topic, we're still, I, I still on, on Chief Delphi, I see people talking about rule update 11 from FRC. It came out Tuesday, but we're still debating update 11. I think you've got better things to do. You might want to move on to maybe making sure your robot's underweight or getting that thing bagged and, and ready for competition. This is a rule clarification that FIRST has given us. We need to accept it and move on. Another uh, shout out to a team, team 4450, Olympia Robotics Federation. Olympia Robotics Federation, my heart goes out to you guys. You had um, some vandalism at your school. Sounds like your robot got dented up a little bit. I ho hope you guys recover well and you perform as you want to at, during the first week event. Good luck to Olympia Robotics Federation. I hope everything's okay. Live long and robot on and prosper. I don't, nobody's caught it yet except for me. Wednesday lunch, um, lunch with Andy episode that I screwed something up. I said, um, when you look for a pump or an air compressor for your system, make sure it's 120 PSI. It actually needs to be 125 PSI because I reread the rules and I said, I wonder if it has to be rated for 120 or 125. So obviously I should know that, but 125 PSI is the rating of any pneumatic component that you put on your robot. Today at lunch we had, we had chicken and fish. We had, um, I had fish because, you know, it's Friday in Lent. I'm Catholic, I'm not supposed to eat chicken. We had uh, chicken and fish. We had a work through lunch. We have a, a big delivery today. So we actually are 
doing other things besides first stuff here at Antimark during building season. I know, kind of crazy, huh? We have, we have three contests going on. So get your entry in, entries in for the coloring contest for Jerry Bud. That's one of them. The second contest would be your the continuing of the breaking break your bot contest hashtag break your bot, and we haven't gotten have we gotten that many entries in yet? I've not seen many. We don't need to see a robot like going to through a crushing sequence or anything like that. If something small breaks and it's a significant break, if it's impacting the performance of your robot, you want to be happy about that now. So mean Caymans are on it, but we. We need um, more entries, more break your bot entries. We broke our robot last night on the team I'm on, so I gave away a candy bar to our software team because they slammed um, the elevator system and it stalled the motors out, so we broke a couple things. So celebrate your breakages. You're breaking it early. You're doing it during build season when you have time to fix these things. So break your bot. Now our last contest, this is a new thing. This is... Um, we, we're just now coming up with this contest. I'm gonna tease it today. We'll, you'll see some more information and details about this, but it's a engineer for the weekend contest. What we're willing to do is send an engineer, one of our engineers out to a, an event and have you adopt them, maybe adopt an engineer, have you adopt them for the weekend to be on your team. Now it's only during week one, week three, and week six weekends, but this could be your team. You could have an Andy Mark engineer in the pit with you. You give them a team shirt. They're part of your team. They're cheering for your team at your event. So check out our social media and um, you'll see more information about this um, engineer for a weekend opportunity that you might have. Break your bot, have fun, be safe, get productive. Uh, this is some of the best, some of my best memories are this last weekend before bag day. So make the best of it. Enjoy yourselves. See you next week. So Brett just reminded me something. We saw a quote from Howard Cohen. Hi, Howard. So he had a quote that said, uh, we've heard of robot in three days, but how about robot in the last three days. So I think some of you are in that position right now, maybe if you're overweight. So check your weight. Make sure you're not overweight. Speaking of overweight, I'll, I'll eat some more fries here. <laughs> uh, I got a few things to talk about. Um, and we don't know what any of them are.